This is what we call smart power, using every possible tool and partner to advance peace and security, leaving no one on the sidelines, showing respect even for one's enemies, trying to understand and insofar as psychologically possible, empathize with their perspective and point of view. I believe that American leadership has been wanting, but is still wanted. We must use what has been called smart power, the full range of tools at our disposal, diplomatic, economic, military. We also learned that to truly defeat a terror network, we need to take on its ideology, counter its propaganda, and diminish its appeal so that every community recognizes the threat that extremists pose to them, and they then deny them protection and support. And we need effective international partners in government and civil society who can extend this effort to all the places where terrorists operate. To achieve these ends require smart power, a strategy that integrates all our foreign policy tools.